got to be a little bit in the second stage, but that's whatever, it's just racing, and then, um, yeah, then there at the end, just uh, got, got into it again. If you're looking for a long run, you said you had a better car when you could go out there for a while. Yeah, just the tires seem to operate better when they're um, hotter, and just, uh, yeah, I didn't get to run very long there at the end. Kyle, what was your take on the contact with the 41 boat early in the race and what ended up taking you out? Um, I mean, I haven't seen the contact from earlier in the race. It was a tight, tight clear off the floor, and um, I mean, I don't, obviously I'm looking at my beer, and it didn't seem that he was to my outside yet, but, uh, and I don't know if he got into the wall, but... Um, he had a pretty short temper, obviously. He was tried to crash me, I think, after that, and was you know, swerving at me under yellow. And um, <clears throat> assumed it'd been you know an hour and a half or so since that happened, and um, it wasn't my fault why he ended up spun out in the back. So I thought that he would chill out, but uh, obviously didn't, and ran me in the fence and ended our day. So um, is what it is. Have you guys had any, had any issues with him before? I haven't honestly raced him that much. You know, he's been kind of out of the Cup Series a little bit for the last couple of years, and um, you know, he wasn't in the best stuff uh, when he was Cup racing before. So I, I haven't spent too much time around him, and I don't remember if I've been <laughs> or if he's been mad at me before. I've never been mad at him, but um, I know he was obviously. I mean, everybody saw his comments after Coda, so I'm sure he's uh, he's standing his ground, I guess, right now. Were you surprised? I mean, a little bit surprised just because it'd been so long, and like I said, it wasn't it wasn't my fault why he why he was back there. You know, I think something happened to him off of two earlier, and he ran in the back of somebody and spun out. And then, um, like I said, it'd been probably an hour and a half. I, I would have to guess since then. So, um, figured we could just be grown ups and get the fuck over it, but I guess not. I mean, you're, will you you're be smiling, relieved to get so to I'm traditional curious, like, short track next week? How upset are you over this? I mean, I'm not gonna let it carry it forward, but um, really I'm just mad at a lot of stuff. I'm, more, I'm mostly mad at myself. You know, I shouldn't have been back there. I spun out, so um, I shouldn't be in here right now, but um, it's just racing. Are you going to talk to him? I mean, what's there to talk about? Like, he's mad at me. I guess I'm mad at him. <laughs> what, what's, what's there to talk about? Do you think NASCAR should step in since it was... No, why? been a lot about intentional wrecking this week regarding penalties and things like that. I mean, who's to say he intentionally wrecked me? I mean, only he knows. Would you be happy to get to a traditional short track next weekend? Um, yeah, I guess. You know, I, I felt like we were good at Martinsville last year, so um, and our cars have been really good with the low downforce package right now. So, yeah, would uh, you like to go there and have the same speed we've had, um, you know, every race this year? So, we'll see. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video from Day to Be Talks. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss another new video here on Day to Be Talks. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.